was born in Berwind, Colorado, B-E-R-W-I-N-D. It was a mining town. My father was Leo Trujillo. He was born in Mora, New Mexico. At one time, he used to play the violin for dances. We didn't know that at all. And he was a coal miner. Every time they opened a coal mine someplace, they would go to it. My mother was born here in Sopris, Colorado. How they met, I, it's another thing. When I got started playing, I took two years of lessons. I was at school waiting for my girlfriend to come out. I was standing at the corner of the schoolhouse. There was a woman who was distributing leaflets. If you take an, a year of lessons, you get a free violin. And I had been wanting to play the piano. That's what I was wanting to do. But it wasn't so because it, I wouldn't have, I would have had to buy a piano too. And my mother did start me on lessons, but the teacher didn't seem to care. And I thought, well, my mother's paying for nothing. I'm going to quit. I'll take over myself. So I decided to go ahead and try learning my Spanish music, songs that I used to hear and what I knew. So I started playing them, and they just came to me. I did it uh, without any notes, you know, didn't have no notes. So I, just by memory and by hearing the music, I would keep up with, um, with um, American pieces too, English pieces. I began to listen to Paco Sanchez on the radio, and I had learned a lot of Spanish songs from him. The notes, I just went through them by my singing. I kind of brought them both together on my own, and I did pretty good. Well, I learned the English version too, south of the border, and I learned the Spanish words. It goes something like this. South of the border, down Mexico way, that's where I fell in love when stars above came out to play. And now as I wander, my thoughts ever stray, south of the border, down Mexico way, sur de Rio Grande, Suelo encantador, donde una vez halló lo que soñó mi corazón. Mas ahora vagando, pensando en tu amor, sur de Río Grande. Suelo encantador, sur de Río Grande. Forty-one, we got married, June 29th. And I was going to start a little group to play for church, you know, for masses. But my husband said, I don't want you to play the violin. So I just didn't play it for 1941 till 1948. And then my father-in-law wanted me to go play with a fellow that was playing in Duke's place, Trinidad, Guzman. But I said, it's a bar. I don't like to play in bars. For a while, I just put them off. I just couldn't. Then finally, one day, my husband himself said, let's go see what my dad wants you to do. So I picked up my violin and we went. 
and I tried with this man and we hit it off right away and we played together for for a while for about four months I guess and then they closed the place up because at that time people were more, more religious they closed because it was Lent and so I didn't I but I was I was hooked on the music I loved the music I got pregnant with my son, Tony, and I quit playing for a while. And when he was older, my mother was taking care of him. And I called her and her dad up to see if, if he wanted to play again. Well, I can't, he says, because now I'm playing with another group. We're playing dance music. But why don't you come down and audition with us? Maybe it'll get you in. So I went to play with him at Pioneer Bar, and they got me on right away. For seven months, we played together. And the leader was kind of mad that I got into playing with them when they were striving to get two more dollars. They only used to get to eight dollars a night. They were trying to get 10. And here I get on with them and I get eight dollars like they were getting. They don't get no raise. So he didn't like that too well. So they got a place to play about seven months later and, and I wasn't included. <laughs> so I, when he told me it was on a Sunday that Juan Aranta told me, he says, uh, well, Eva, we're not going to, well, this is our last night here. Oh, yeah, he says, where are we playing now? <laughs> <We're so confident. laughs> and he says, he says, well, you know, he got, uh, they got a place for us, four, but uh, they just couldn't afford five, so you're not playing with us anymore. I said, well, that's all right, don't worry about it. He doesn't bother me. One song that I learned from Juan Aranda in 1951 was El Bracero, and it's very jokey. Hermanitos de mi raza, si se van a trabajar a los Estados Unidos, yo les quiero aconsejar. Que tengan mucho cuidado y no les vaya a pasar lo que me pasó una vez. Por la falta del inglés Pues me fui yo de bracero Y a ganar mi buen periodo Al fin cuando allá llegué Pues me bajo en la estación Pues que saco yo un cigarro Y sería no encontré Y miré a un americano Y por pronto yo le hablé Yo le dije, give me match Y me dice, what you say Y le dije, Juan José Así me llamó señor Y luego me dice aquel Why do you bother me for? Y le dije, no señor A mí no me gusta el Ford Y aunque yo no tenga carro A mí me gusta Chevrolet Y me dice, get away Y le dije, no señor A mí no me diga wey Porque soy hombre casado Y aunque no soy mi hombre rugo Yo le saco a usted el menudo Pa' quitarle lo hablado It's a song about um, It's Spanish and English mix but um, this uh, person came from Mexico and um, he didn't want to speak Sp English, but he used some words, you know, and, and that's where the song goes through. Listen here, you big bad bozo. Le dije quien es baboso y le dije con el feliz por todito el dosicote. Y entonces pegó un gritote. Me decía a suya y le dije yo la suya. Tuve que salir corriendo porque ya me va siguiendo toditita la patrulla. Al fin cuando me alcanzaron me llevaron ante al juez Me pregunté eres culpable y le dije yo que yes Y entonces me dice así son diez pesos o diez días Me dirigí a mi buen prudencia A mí me dan los diez pesos no comprendo yo por qué de los brazos me agarraron y en una celda me echaron y en el bote me quedé. Después de 90 días al terreno me fui otra vez y no me quedaron ganas de 
volver a hablar inglés. I was called from a CIO club on 37th and Delgany, and they told me if uh, they would want for me to go play up there with them. And I chose Louis Atencio to play the guitar. And I says, I need somebody else to help me with the melody. Do you know anybody? And he says, uh, oh yeah, my brother, Julian, plays a mandolin. He was uh, such a good mandolin player, man. He's a beautiful mandolin player. And Manuel Bach, I used to play the big bass, and I played violin. And I was the only one who sang then. All three of them were from Las Vegas, New Mexico. It was really nice. We enjoyed playing so many beautiful pieces. Julian and I and all the others learned Valse do Lao. It's a Spanish waltz. Goes something like this. sleeping and we got a phone call and it was Paco Sanchez and he says I want to know the name of your band so I can announce it on the radio. I cupped the phone and I says my husband Paco Sanchez wants to know what the name of our group is and I we don't have no name for it help me I can't think and he says um he says well being as you're all instruments you know why don't you call it the echoing strings and I said oh that sounds good I'll call it the magic echoing strings so that so I told him I said to Paco Sanchez I said, it's the mac magic echoing strings and he says in Spanish he says oh el mágico eco de cuerdas that's good we played ballroom dance it's called the la Varso Villana and um People all dance the same way. All of them dance the same way. And it was just so beautiful to see. And we loved playing that for them. And oh, even nowadays you play it. Boy, people go crazy with it. They love to dance that. And now we're going to show you uh, El Varseviana.
Muchas gracias. That was uh, just a beautiful place. I could just see them dancing. I started with Maria Alegre in 1974. I was playing with San Silver. He had a mariachi group, church music. And my brother said, why don't you come play with us? We're all family here. It was my brother, his wife, Ori, Lorenzo, Melissa, Chiquilin, Javier, and myself. We're a whole bunch of us. I used to play with my brother, Philbert Trujillo, and he and I played for a long time for baptismals or birthdays or things like that.
been with it since we were born. I mean, you know, it's, so it's natural. We, we've heard it forever. And so it goes right along with it. And, and it's really the, you, if you sing these songs in English, because we have songs that are bilingual, both, but you lose a lot of, when you get it in Spanish and you understand Spanish, then it just really rings a bell and, you know, it, uh, everything goes off at the same time. It's, it's, it keeps you going. It's interesting. You know, yeah. We played forever, come birthdays or, or um, baptismals, weddings. We're always there with a the group. Our, mu our family always has music. We still have it. When we get together, we still, we have some pretty fun parties. Cuatro vidas serían para ti. Vida, si te llevas mi vida contento, moriría por ti. Contento moriría por ti. Ser, si te llevas mi ser contento, moriría por ti. As far as um, it hitting home, right here in your heart, it hits. Hard. And that's one thing that you bring out when you play or when you sing, the you know, music shows it. Si tuvieras cuatro vidas, cuatro vidas serían para ti. tradition it started in Spain when people got married they'd sing verses to them advice and blessings and you would have to have the father and mother give their blessings and the main padrinos the bride and groom's witnesses Atención pido señores y a todos los ilustrados Para explicarles un poco tocante a los esposados. En nombre de Dios comienzo y de la Virgen María. Para entregar a estos novios que se esposan este día. Esta mañana salieron cuatro rosas de la iglesia. El padrino y la madrina y el princes con su princesa.
Ya subieron a los grados contentos con alegría porque se iban a esposar como San José y María. El padre les preguntó si quieres casarte di y la iglesia los oyó que los dos dijeron sí. I played for so many years, for so many years, always played. We played Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Sunday night for weddings, the baptisms, birthdays, dances, even the funerals, everything. Ay, mamá, que aprieta este señor. Ay, mamá, que aprieta estoy. Siento ya morir de emoción. Echele mi cambiada que si me vaciló. As for solamente una vez, you belong to your to my heart. I sing it in Spanish and English both. It's, it's so beautiful. Solamente una vez, amen la vida. Solamente una vez. Esperanza, la esperanza que alumbra el camino de mi soledad. Una vez nada más se entregue el alma con la dulce y total renunciación. Ese milagro realiza el prodigio de amarse. Hay campanas de fiesta que cantan en el corazón. 
As far as music is concerned, oh God, I love music. It's with a, so deep in my heart. I I just don't know what to do. I, it's something that you can't do without. A veces escucho un eco divino que vuelto en la brisa. Parece decir que te quiero mucho, 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 tanto como entonces, siempre hasta el morir. A veces escucho un eco divino que vuelto en la brisa parece decir que te quiero mucho, 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 tanto como entonces. Siempre hasta el morir, siempre hasta el morir. 